Okay, so let me kind of show you a little bit of what's going on. Um, so I, I shared this interesting story I came across this, this weekend about these two slave traders. So I just kind of posted that for grins and giggles. Um, but if you, and I remember no class on Saturday the 21st. Um, so let's go to the course documents and resources. Um, remember, you've got the this land, which is allows you to um, earn five points um, to kind of add just kind of bonus points opportunity. Um, the other thing that I did was I have updated and I'll be adding in the lecture slides as well as the lecture videos on this tab. Um, these are the two textbook chapters that are kind of correlated with where we are. Um, and I went through and kind of pulled out some picture, some pictures, some, uh, some, well, there actually are a couple pictures, but I pulled out some sections from the YAP reader that I think are pretty, pretty important. Um, Cherokee protesting removal, that's not necessarily by a woman about a woman. Um, same thing with John O'Sullivan's Manifest Destiny. Um, but I think that they tell you a lot about this movement West and kind of when you think about the, the implications for women, um, I think it kind of, you know, the women having to respond to this kind of move west and where what's going to happen with them. Um, so you've got this diary of a woman migrating to Oregon. The Chinese merchant claims abuse. Um, again, not necessarily directly related to women, but it does kind of indicate um, kind of the conditions, particularly for Chinese immigrants. And you can, you can extrapolate from that um, what conditions were like for even Chinese women. Uh, the Wyandotte a woman describing tensions over slavery. This is from around Kansas and kind of the bleeding Kansas concept. Um, there's a Manifest Destiny painting. Um, that has to do, that kind of shows this woman bringing progress westward. So I think you can make something about kind of the, the gender kind of depiction of progress being a woman. And yet women, you know, women have reform progress that we're going to talk about, but really they don't have a lot of power. Um, and then I put in the anti-immigrant cartoon, not so much because it has a direct relation to women, but it gives you a sense of kind of what that, um, what that whole idea is for um, the anti-immigrant sentiments, right? Um, and then I shared this entire section for the sectional crisis. Um, several of these, the stories from the Underground Railroad, this is uh, by a woman. The actual exchange in this particular excerpt involves a woman really kind of being the moral voice um, against slavery. Um, oh, that's Uncle Tom's Cabin. Stories from the Underground Railroad, um, again, kind of tells you about this trying to escape. Um, you also have, you know, the discussion of racism in the North. Um, this is two women discussing John Brown, kind of their attitudes towards this particular moment in history, um, particularly when John Brown has led the raid on Harper's Ferry. Um, and is he a hero? Is he crazy? What's going on with him? Um, you've got the 1860 Republican Party platform, which is kind of sets you up for why the South would be so, you know, what it is the Republicans are saying that makes the South so paranoid about a Republican president. Um, so you can kind of read through that and kind of its step towards uh, the Civil War. And of course, understand that a lot of women, um, you know, kind of subscribe to whatever views their husbands had. In many cases, not all. Um, I did include the South Carolina Declaration of Secession um, because that is, you know, very clearly states that the issue for secession is about slavery. It's not about states' rights. Um, and then the effects of the fugitive slave law. Um, again, we kind of talked about that fugitive slave law. It actually encourages a lot of um a lot of kidnapping and that sort of thing. Um, so you kind of see this, and this is a map um, from 1856. So I just kind of included um, that whole section because you could do a lot with any of those documents. Um, I did include a Mexican American war reading. Um, this is a, a document. Usually if, if we had a little more time, there's a role play we can do. Um, we don't quite have that much time to do this, but um, this kind of goes into the details about the Mexican American war um, and kind of is a really interesting a picture about the actions that were taking place. This is really good. It includes not only the perspective of um, 
of you know pro-war Americans, but anti-war Americans as well as soldiers, as well as women, um, as well as natives. So it's it's a really good reading. So I encourage you to take a look at it. Um, this one, this is a, a, just a real short document. That's um, oh well, it has a whole bunch of other stuff. You don't have to read all that. But um, this first two pages is Andrew Jackson's views on um, on Indian removal. And you can definitely kind of see that. Um, I included some documents if you're interested in the defense of slavery. Um, so this kind of these documents all are support for the slave system um, and kind of embody this argument that slavery is a is a positive good. Um, and these are your anti-slavery documents. So if you're interested or curious about kind of how people attacked or defended slavery, um, that gives you the resources that you need to do that. Um, and I'm probably, that's going to be all I'm going to post as far as readings are concerned. Um, there are, I did kind of include a list of what I would call like breakout videos. Um, so if there's something you want to know a little bit more about, I put several of those in there um, just to kind of help you on that score. Um, the other thing I would want to point out is that first off, um, so don't forget you've got a document analysis, por analysis portfolio coming up the first week of October. Um, five documents basically filling out a worksheet. It's super easy. Um, you do have your essays, right? So notice that I made essay three. The deadline is now September 27th, so you've got an extra week for that. And then the essay four is due Friday, October 4th. So this is a little bit before the document analysis portfolio. Um, and that essay is analyze how different groups of women imagined the United States from 1840 to 1860, including women's roles. I strongly recommend you wait till after the 28th before you take a look at that, because we'll be going into a lot of detail about reform movements. Um, but just to kind of give you a sense of what's coming up. I did also post, um, I had one or two of you that didn't do the first essay because initially and and I kind of changed that like in during the first class but since since I've been a little bit disorganized, um, what I thought I would do is if you're one of those people that skipped the first essay because you were like, oh hey, I can you know I only have to do four essays um, that rather than try to go back and kind of retroactively do that one if you want um, or if you feel like you need some if you had a bad essay or something like that or if you just are really struggling with essay three or something or essay four um, you can do an optional essay of 12 years a slave um, so you can substitute that for any one of the essays that you want um, or if you do that one it'll be additional points right um, so basically this is a way for you to kind of just like I said, substitute points. So it's it's um, kind of like just this open kind of extra credit, I guess would be the way I would put that um, assignment. Um, and essentially what it, what it asks you to do is to watch the movie 12 Years a Slave. Um, you can get that uh, on pretty much any streaming service for less than $5. You um, can probably find a, a DVD copy at, you know, half price books, pretty cheap. Um, so um, watch the movie. Um, and you need to write an essay that reflects on Patsy and Mistress Epps and what is their role within slavery. Um, how do we understand slavery um, and, and the, the problems of slavery, the issues of slavery from a woman's perspective. Um, and so just kind of write an essay, kind of the same parameters as the other essays, three to about three pages or so, um, double space, blah, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so kind of really kind of a simple assignment, but I thought I would give you that option if you, you're interested in kind of watching that movie. Um, paying particular attention, not not necessarily only to Northup's story, but to the women that his story intersects with. Um, and so that's, you have that option as well. Um, I don't have, I don't think I have a new uh, participation uh, activity. If I come up with one, I'll put it in there. Um, right now I haven't come up with one. So we may, there may not be one this week. Um, I have not started grading the essays. This is Monday morning. It's now 720. Um, so at some point I will start grading the essays. Probably not tonight because I have class, but uh, probably on and uh, probably on uh, on Tuesday is when I'll start grading it. Um, and so I kind of have the game plan already set up. Um, you can see week five is reforming society. Week six is reconstruction of gender. Um, so I'll be working over the next week on getting those kind of fleshed out. 
um, for week five and six and that kind of thing. So again, you've got several kind of bonus point opportunities you can work on. Um, you have an idea for what the essays are. So I encourage you to, to look at the information, um, take kind of the lecture component as a foundation, um, and then go after the topics that you find most interesting. Um, so hopefully that gets us all set up for this week. Um, and thank you. Uh, I hope you have a great week and a great weekend. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. I'll try to, I should, I check my Eastfield email at least once or twice a day. Um, so just let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will be doing progress reports sometime this week once I get your essays graded. So you should be getting an email about that. Um, and I think that's it. So, all right, you'll have a great day.